Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Yes, yeah, so I have another question. I'm sure you already recognized by the title, um, but I got a question from the event that I spoke at recently and I wanted to come here and share this with you because I'm sure some of you guys are going through this as well, okay? The question is, when should a guy or girl that's been crossed or offended in the relationship to stop bringing up the past? All right, so crossed or offended could be anything. Um, everybody always relates to cheating, but it could be anything. Maybe you were drinking a bit much. Maybe you were gambling a bit much. Maybe you, you know, said that you were going to stop going to the club. It could be anything. Okay, so don't always go to 100% cheating. So anyway, my answer. My answer is short and sweet. Okay, y'all know I ain't about short and sweet, but I'm gonna give it to you today. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, my answer is as soon as you and said person have a conversation, you say that you have forgiven them, that's when you stop bringing up the past. Unfortunately, most people bring up the past when they get pissed off or angry with their spouse or partner. It's never when we're having these happy-go-lucky moments with them. You're not bringing up the past then, but because your partner or spouse has now pissed you off, here comes the offense. A previous offense. Now here's the thing. If I am the offender, you said that you have forgiven me and I am no longer doing said thing. So let's go with gambling this time. Okay. Right. So I am no longer gambling. There is no evidence of me gambling. You can see where all my money is going. I've actually given you access to my bank accounts and you know, uh, all just everything, right? You can see everything. Everything is out on the table. I'm not hiding anything, but as soon as you get pissed off and maybe something comes up where we can't pay for X, Y, and Z, whatever it is, all of a sudden, you decided that is the time to bring up my ex-gambling habit. Well, boo, that was the wrong time to bring it up. Because number one, you said that you forgave me. And forgiving me means not bringing up. Forgiving me means that you literally did forgive me. Those weren't just words that was rolling off your tongue. You wasn't just doing lip service in the moment. You really did forgive me. So... Whenever something financial comes up now, you can't bring up my gambling habit or ex gambling habit because I have given you proof. And that's the key. I'm showing and proving everything that I told you I am sorry for. Now, on the flip side of that, if I told you I'm sorry for it, but I'm still going out there and gambling and I'm giving away all the bill money every time my check come in here, you never see it. You trying to take care of the household all by yourself. I'm not showing you. I'm not proving anything. Sure, bring it up or find a way to get rid of your baggage, i.e. your spouse. And I never talk about leaving your spouse because that's really something that you have to decide on. But in this instance, you have to build and continue to build because it's always going to be hard once the trust is broken. And that's what I'm speaking about. Trust. Once the trust is broken, it's going to take a long, long time to rebuild that trust. But now I'm starting as the gambler, ex-gambler, I'm starting to not trust you and your word because now you keep bringing up my stuff. Trust is a two-way street. You can't just expect your spouse to trust you and you not trust them by always continuously bringing up this baggage, bringing up this offense, bringing up the fact that, you know what, we would be further with our lives. We would be further doing X, Y, and Z if you didn't spend the money, if you didn't take all of this over here and do, do that. That's not you really forgiving them. That's not you seriously taking a step back and understanding your partner's situation. 
understanding that every time you continuously bring up this offense that you are actually bringing more and more distance between you and your partner. If you say that you've forgiven them, forgive them. But sis, bruh, nah, you can't bring it up no more. That's the bottom line. Soon as you say it, you can't bring it up. 